Hello, how you doing? Sears Gator Dunn, 1975. Uh, I was asked by one of my viewers how I uh, rake the cars. So I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you through this here. See this here? Uh, it's a Heat Fleet van. Come out. I forget what year it was. But uh, these vans were crappy. See that when you got that here? So this is a good candidate for me to show you how to do a rake. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not even going to remove the rivet. All I'm going to do is, is cut that out. First thing you want to do is uh, make sure you have eye protection on. See this? Eye protection is a is a bonus because when you start cutting these here uh, axles off they'll go anywhere so good uh, idea to keep a uh, keep eye protection on. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut this axle out just like that. See it just went everywhere. I don't even know where it went. Cut the axle out, and uh, see it just all of it went out. <laughs> so now we got these little tires here. So what I'll do is see how uh, see how much metal, see how much we have to work with here. Most of the time, I would use my Dremel because I like it easy. But you can use cutters just like this. What you want to do is come over here and cut you a notch right here. See, you got this little notch right there. Cut that notch. Cut another one on the other side. I'm going to try to get it as close to the original axle as you can that way it don't look bad when you go to put the axles back in so you got we got notches like this see that and what you want to do is just for <clears throat> and then when you uh, get to this point, I already went ahead and cut the front off and uh, made them notches in the front. I will take my glue and I'll drop it right down there where that V is. See, right here. I'll put this, put a little drop of glue here. Oh, yeah, just squeeze the sides. <laughs> Some glue there and put some glue there. Some there and some there. <coughs> now you just drop the axles there. Just drop the axle right down on the glue and uh, let it sit there for a little bit and this is what you got. See? You set that off to the side for like 10 minutes for however long you want it to last and uh, you have yourself a uh, a raised up vehicle and that's a lot better because the wheels don't wobble like they was so anyway that's the uh, and now I have these I can put on a different vehicle see you always have something going on that's it. I'll catch you later. 
Have a good one. Bye. Hello. I'm going to do a wheel swap here on this here BMW. This here. Wheel swap. Yeah. And uh, put these here on there. See them? Yeah. I think it's going to look good. So we'll get started. Uh, I want to clear off them burrs there. I so put my cutting bit, see your cutting bit in there, Dremel. Don't forget to put your safety glasses on, that's important. Now we did that. I'll grab me. This is a 564. Okay. Take your 564 and you put it in your drill. Dip it in the uh, dip it in the wax like Pooch Chief Marilby does. Yes, you widen that hole a little bit. That's gonna make it easier to tap your hole. See, put that in there. I want to tighten that up. Try it again. Just. Makes it a lot easier when you get the Now what I'm getting ready to do, y'all might uh you might like it and you might not. This here is the tap. It's a two fifty six. Tap two fifty six. Right there it says right there on the on a on the tap. I'm gonna put it in this here drill. I'm gonna tighten it up, right? So I'm going to dip it in the wax and then I'll put it right there in that hole I'm just going to tap the trigger. See? Tap the driggle and back out. You might think this is lazy but uh, I find it easier to do. See? Just put that in the hole, tap it a little bit and pull it back out. Holes are tapped, and uh, we can put screws in there. Yeah. And these wheels are perfectly sized to fit on this here car. So we will cut that little tab here off. Yeah, need to tap it all. Cut the tab, pull them out, cut that out. Everybody has their own way of doing things, so uh, I kind of like the easier ways. I don't know if y'all like doing things the easy way or the hard way, but this is just the way I like doing it. So, got to open that up a little bit. It's just plastic, easy to work with. Everyone's, I'm sure, got their own way to do it. So we'll put the interior back in this here BMW. Put that in here like that. And then I'll we'll put a, put this set of wheel right there. And put this one, this one here right there. That's going to look good. So put Put that just like that. Check that out. Isn't that just awesome? <laughs>
could be. So we'll go over here get some screws. I am almost out of these here screws, but luckily I ordered some this morning. So hopefully I get it hopefully by the end of the week. So what we'll do is we'll take this here screw and drop it on the floor. So I have to get a new one out of here. <laughs> put it on the end here. And we'll put a screw in the bottom of this here fantastic looking car. And uh, I'll do a second one just in case, just just to make it look better. I can get one out of there. Yep, I'm down to two. So uh, my uh, wheel swap is going to have to put on hold until I get me some more screws. So, see that? There we go. Check that out. Isn't that awesome? I do like it. All right. That's a wheel swab by Gitter Dunn 1975, a.k.a. Jeff. Have a good one. Bye.